Hey guys, it's me, GST Boxer, and I'm playing some more Undertale. Let's continue on with our journey. Last time we got that delicious cinnamon butterscotch pie, and we have to... Wait, did we? We did. I'm pretty sure I did. I did. It was delicious. We came straight out to save, so let's go and... Uh, actually, since she cut it, I want to see... Ah, slice is missing. Size of the pie intimidates you too much for you to eat it. <laughs> okay. Hello, Toriel. What is it? How do you exit the ruins? I have to do something. Stay here. Let's see. Let's call her and be like, hey, what's up? Oh! Okay. Obviously, since she's out, we should check her room. Because that's o the, the obvious thing, right? Nothing there. Okay, let's go and follow her downstairs. I'm pretty sure this is the way out. Sounds so sinister down here. Toriel? You wish to know how to return home. Do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. Excuse me? Come back, come back, come back. Come back. No, listen. I need you to be reasonable here. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You knave child. If you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I am only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. No! Do you, do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. Toriel, please be reasonable. You want to leave so badly. <laughs> You're just like the others. There's only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. I'm gonna kill her with kindness. Whoa, that boss music. What? Okay. Obviously, Toriel. Let's talk it out. You couldn't think of any conversation topics. What? Toriel looks through you. Let's talk. Oh, I should check her. You tried to think of something to say again, but... What is this madness? Oh my god! Toriel looks through you. I think I can survive another hit. Toriel, attack 80, defense 80. Knows best for you. No, she doesn't. That one wasn't as bad. Here's a magical attack. I should heal. Oh, there's multiple pages. Uh, mint monster candy? You hit the monster candy. You receive. You recovered 10 HP! Can't get it! No! No! Toriel looks through you. I mean. Oh, there we go. Now she's reacting to it. Ah! Toriel prepares a magical attack. Keep sparing her. I think this is the way to go. The 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 frog dude said to sometimes you just have to keep sparing. I think that was a hint. Three. Oh crap! Toriel looks through you. Spare. What? Toriel looks through you. Spare. What are you doing? Better. We're doing better. Toriel, I'm going to beat you with my... Love and affection! Oh my god! This is close. Toriel is acting aloof. What are you proving this way? 
sweet spot is like right here. Toriel prepares a magic attack. Fight me or leave! Shouldn't have done that. Toriel is acting aloof. Spare. Stop it. Damn. I need to heal. HP is maxed out. Okay. Looks through you. Toriel, stop looking at me that way. Toriel, you need to let me be free. You need to trust me on this. Go away! That's what I'm trying to do, Toriel. Maybe I should talk to her now instead and see if that will. Should we talk? Ironically, talking does not seem to be the solution to this situation. Oh, dang! Dang! Why is it so hard hitting. Oh my goodness, spare! Torio! I know you want to go home, but... No, it's not yellow. Talk it out. Oh, come on! Spare? But please, go upstairs now. I promise I will take good care of you here. I know we do not have much, but... We can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. Oh. <laughs> Pathetic, is it not? I can't save even a single child. Should we hash it out? Oh my god! No, I understand. We would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, Please do not come back. I hope you understand. No! Why don't you join me? Goodbye, my child. Oh. What happens if I go back? I should go back. What will she do if I go back? want to save uh, if I go back is she going to be like I gave you one last chance I'm gonna eat you now you shunned my kindness or is the game just gonna end did I fuck am I fucking up I'm fucking up where is she nope I want more of that pie though it's good stuff Use too many healing items on that. Is that how difficult some of these things are gonna be? There's rest here. Lucky, please. Wake up! You're the future of humans and monsters? Excuse me? Toriel? Where'd she go? It's me. I guess, I guess she took off. She's not in her room. She's not in the hall. She's not out here. Should save. Yeah. Yeah, save that. How much money do I have? Oh, I have 34 gold. I should go and buy some spider cider. All right, I'm back. 
first, let's give her a call. Say hello. Nobody picked up. Can I just call her mom then? Oh, she's ignoring my calls. Oh, we, we missed out. Anyway, we're journeying out of the ruins. Let's go and see what the underground is like. Am I going up? What? It's getting lighter in color. I can only assume I'm going up. Here we go. Not you again. Oh, God. Not you again. Clever. Very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So you were able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. <laughs> I bet you feel real great. You didn't kill anybody this time. But what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die and you'll die and you'll die. Until you tire of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Or will you give up entirely on this world? And let me inherit the power to control it. I'm the prince of this world's future. Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan is in regicide. This is so much more interesting. Ugh. Thank you for turning a delicate little flower into something terribly horrifying. Let's continue on. Our journey. Undertale. By Toby Fox. Oh man, what an intro! There's a camera hidden in the bushes. Why? Why? Uh... Now I should check everything. I guess. Not really. I don't think there's a point to checking everything. Let's just continue walking down this ominous forest. Let's see. Is it smart to go over the stick or crack? Is it a crack or a stick? Or to go around it. Am I going to get trolled if I go around it? We're going to go around it. What is it? Hey, stick. It's a tough looking branch. It's too heavy to pick up. What? I didn't walk on it. It's being smashed like it was nothing. Oh, somebody's following me. There's a ghost following me. Maybe? I don't know. Oh! What? Why? <laughs> no! I said I don't play scary games on the channel! Why are you trying to scare me? Uh... Mm, go away, go away... Why are you stopping? Human. Don't you know how... To greet a new pal, turn around and shake my hand. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. <laughs> The old whoopee cushion in the hand trick. It's always funny. Anyways, you're a human, right? That's hilarious. I'm Sans. Sans the skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now. But, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother, Papyrus. He's a human hunting fanatic. Hey. Actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. 
Yes, it is very convenient. Sup, bro? You know what's up, brother? Hey! His name is Papyrus, and the font is very similar to a Papyrus font. It's been eight days, and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. It's not very much like Papyrus, but similar enough to me. You just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp, it's really cool. Do you want to look? No! I don't have time for that. What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready. I'll be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. Then I, the Great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. Respect, recognition, I'll finally be able to join the Royal Guard. People will ask too. Oh, people will ask to be my friend? I'll be the <laughs> shower of kisses every morning. Hmm. Maybe this lamp will help you. Sans! You're not helping, you lazy bones. All you do is sit and boondoggle? You get lazier and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. It's gotten a ton of- I've gotten a ton of work done today. Skeleton. Oh yeah! Sans! Come on. You're smiling. I am. And I hate it. Sigh. Ugh. Why am I reading out sigh? Ugh. Why does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself. Down to the bone. Yes! Yes! Ugh! I'll attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I like these guys. Okay, you can come out now. You were trying to sell me out, man. Hey. Cool jacket. You ought to get going. He might come back, and if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. I like your jokes. What's the holdup? Look, there's nothing to be afraid of. It's just a dark cavern filled with skeletons and horrible monsters. But it's scary! Well... Okay, so I expended all of your dialogue for now. Rocks, talk to me. Lamp? Just a conveniently shaped lamp. Any secrets? Actually, hey, hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous. Even if he tries to be. Thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. Ooh, now we got that music kicking in. It's some sort of checkpoint or sentry station? But there are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish inside. It's a hot dog stand, man! Yeah, 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 yeah. We did this. Nicely rendered, pixelated pine trees. Save spot! I gotta find a voice for those two guys. The convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. So determined! This is a box. You can put an item inside or take an item out. The same box will appear later, so don't worry about coming back. Sincerely, a box lover. Thank you, box lover! GSD box lover? You love me? Uh... Tough glove! Oh, but that'd be stealing, right? We'll do that. We'll leave the tough glove for now. Oh, I really want that. We'll leave it for now. It's technically stealing. I don't want the game to knock me on that. It's time for a battle with something friggin' crazy. Snow Drake flutters forth. No, don't fight him. See, I know that's gonna mess me up later. I gotta really be careful about that. Snow Drake. Heckle laugh joke. Let's check him out. 
to the Drake. Six attack, two defense. This teen comedian fights to keep a captive audience. Fights you with cold blood. Oh, this is easy. Don't even try. Snowdrake is practicing his next pun. Snowdrake, I'll laugh because you're a comedian. You'll like that. You laugh at Snowdrake's pun. See? Laughs! Dad was wrong. I think that did it. With its cool joke. It's yellow. I spare thee, Snowdrake. Whoa, this guy pays out a lot of money. Not yet. We saved, we can explore a bit. Fishing rod. What's going on here? It's a fishing rod affixed to the ground. Reel it in? Yeah. All that's attached to the end is a photo of a weird looking monster. Call me, here's my number. Decide not to call. I want to call. Toriel's fun. Toriel girl, come on. Send the line back out. Oh, you send the line. No, I want that fishing line. Reel it in. Yes. All that's attached to the end is a photo of a weird looking monster. Call me. Here's my number. I should call. Okay. So, as I was saying about Dean. God, is that a human? There's, there's my skinny guy, skinny scaly voice. Uh, actually, I think that's a rock. Oh. Hey, what's that in front of the rock? Oh my God! Is, is that a human? Uh, yes. Oh my God! Sans, I finally did it! Undine will. I'm gonna. I'll be so. Popular! 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 <clears throat> Human! You shall not pass this area! I, the great Papyrus, will stop you. I will then capture you. You will be delivered to the capital. Then, then... I'm not sure what's next. In any case, continue! Only if you dare. <laughs> uh, well, that went well. Don't sweat it. Don't sweat it, kid. I'll keep my eye... Keep an eye on... Bleah! I'll keep an eye socket out for you. Thanks, Sans. Both of them are pretty decent characters. I like them. Ice Cap struts into view. That's some... He looks like... He looks like... Oh, the thing from Fairy Tale and... Rave Groove Adventure. I can't remember its name. It's the dog. Uh, check him out. This teen wonders why it isn't named Ice Hat. Snow? No, it's a hat. Risen you. What? Whoa! What? Yo, this foul system needs to be implemented into more games. Ice Cap makes sure its hat is still there. Okay, Ice Cap, we can now compliment your hat. You inform Ice Cap that it has a great hat. Envious? Too bad! Oh crap. I missed it. Here comes the new clothes smell. He's not yellow yet. Oh, wait. Ignore him. You managed to tear your eyes away from Ice Cap's hat. It looks annoyed. Hello? My hat's up here? Maybe it didn't do it because I got hit. Uh, if you're looking at his hat. Compliment? It's a great hat. My hat's too loud for me to hear you. Shut up! There. Ice Cap is secretly checking if you're looking at his hat. Spare it. Snow? No, it's hat residue. the hell? This is a difficult one. Let me check him again. This teen wonders why it isn't named Ice Hat. 
your head looks so naked. Whoa! Okay, so I feel like we're supposed to take his hat. Steal the hat. We tried to steal Ice Cap's hat, but it's not weakened enough. Help! Fashion police! Maybe he just likes to be complimented? Should we just keep ignoring him then? He likes his hat, but... Envy is too bad. Blah blah blah. Oh, Ignore him. Seems defeated. Oh, we should have just... Better a hatter than a hater. We should have just kept ignoring him. His hat sucks. Yeah, your hat sucks. Go away, ice hat. Ice cap. You're a delicious drink from Tim Hortons, but... Just like the drink, you're really bad for me. There's some narration on this cardboard box. You observe the well-crafted sentry station. Who could have built this? You ponder. I bet it was that very famous royal guardsman. Note, not yet a very famous royal guardsman. Oh, we already read that. Let's get out of here. Absolutely no moving. I'm not moving. Not moving. Can I read you again? I moved. I'm sorry. Is this... Did something move? Was it my imagination? I can only see moving things. If something was moving, for example, a human, I'll make sure it never moves again. Whoa, dude! Doggo blocks the way. I only have 9 HP. Whoa, this is easy. Pet him. Don't move an inch. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Oh, it's too good! It's too good! Maybe if we spare him right off the bat. Will it move this time? Thought we can't seem to find anything. I guess we should just pet him. Pet. You pet Doggo. What? I've been pet! Pot, pot, pet, pot, pet, pet, pat? Doggo has been pet. Aw, good doggo. He's so happy. S something pet me! Something that isn't moving. I'm gonna need some dog treats for this. Ding ding! Hey doggo. Hello? Is anybody there? No? Hmm, sneaky eye. Are you two playing a trick on me? Real funny. Big guy. Is that you? Come on. Well, it's not the tall skeleton. He's too loud. Whoever you are, knock it off. I think that should be the last one. Oh. Maybe not. We gotta keep doing this until I expend it. Okay, so that's it. I moved again. Give me a dog treat. Someone's been smoking dog treats? Whoa. Doggo. You need to lay off the- It's a bad habit, dude. Hey, man. What's up? Hey. Here's something important to remember. My brother has a very special attack. If you see a blue attack, don't move and it won't hurt you. Here's an easy way to keep it in mind. Imagine the stop sign. When you see a stop sign, you stop, right? Stop signs are red, so imagine a blue stop sign instead. Simple, right? When fighting, think about blue stop signs. Man, these colors, I know what you're trying to do. I know what you're trying to do, and we'll find out. Now. You thought I was gonna do- Whoa! 
thought I was gonna do the next time thing. I need to read this sign, y'all. North ice, south ice, west ice, east ice, Snowden, and ice. So, if we go to the right, there's a town. If we go north, it's just ice. Is there a save spot around here? Ooh! Hey! Hello. I am a snowman. I want to see the world, but I cannot move. If you would be so kind, traveler, please. Take a piece of me and bring it to... Bring it very far away? Of course. Thank you. Good luck. You got the snowman piece. Let me check this out. Snowman piece. Snowman piece. Heals... Ooh. Please take this to the ends of the earth. Well, we can't eat him. I won't eat you. But are you gonna melt when I leave? How am I doing? By I, I mean the piece of me you gave? I gave you? Oh, snowman. I will be happy to take you. Do we have the digits? We don't have the digits. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. How did... How'd you get here? You're so lazy. You were napping all night. I think that's called sleeping. Excuses, excuses. Oh, oh, the human arrives. In order to stop you, my brother and I have created some puzzles. I think you will find this one quite shocking. For you see, this is the invisible electricity maze. When you touch the walls of this maze, this orb will administer a hearty zap. Sound like fun? Because the amount of fun you will probably have is actually rather small, I think. Okay, you can go ahead right now. Oh my god, dude, you talked through woods! Sans! What did you do? I think the human has to hold the orb. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hold this, please. Okay. Okay! Now! If I just... Can I just be like... Yo, going the road. Oh, dang! I guess I can't. How about some of this? Now that slickness right there. Oh, how you like that? Incredible! You slippery snail! You solved it so easily, too easily. However, the next puzzle will not be easy. It is my- it is designed by my brother, Sans. You will surely be confounded. I know I am. <laughs> uh, this guy's just chilling, man. Look at him. He's just got his hands in his pocket. He's just like, yeah, man. I'm just taking it easy. Hey, thanks. My brother seems like he's having fun. By the way, did you see that weird outfit he's wearing? We made that a few weeks ago for a costume party. He hasn't worn anything ever since. Keeps calling it his battle body. Man, isn't my brother cool? He certainly is something. He's certainly character. Hey, Jellamane. We got some trees, more trees, and a uh, Jellamane. I don't understand why these aren't selling. It's the perfect weather for something cold. I'll take one. Oh, a customer! Hello. Would you like some ice cream? It's the frozen treat that warms your heart. Now just 15 gold. I'll take one. Here you go. Have a super duper day. Got some ice cream. Thanks, dude. I love ice cream. No inanimate objects are talking to me. I'm trying to talk to that rock. He's not giving me the time of day. This tree don't want to say nothing. This guy doesn't want to say anything. What the hell? Oh, man. What is this? Ooh. Mechanics. More game mechanics. Oh, we should check. Hey. I've been thinking about selling treats, too. Want some fried snow? It's just 5G. Did I say 5G? I mean, meant 50G. No. You're right. That's still too low. Get the hell out of here with that foolishness! 
So we gotta put that there. Rock, are you gonna say anything? There's a camera hidden inside the lump of snow. Oh, it's a lump of snow. And the snowball. I suppose we're supposed to make a snowman? Maybe? There's a small ball, and there's a large ball, and there's a hole. Hmm. Hmm. Mysteries that we will find out on the next episode of Undertale. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll be back with some more Undertale, the polite RPG. Oh, just re-sniff me, man. Oh, damn it. <laughs>